Fascinating matchup this week, particularly in the middle. Now, Dan, we've got the Crouch brothers, who you'll talk a little bit about in a moment, about how they're arguably one of the best, if not the best combo in the competition in terms of midfield. We've obviously got our big bustling midfielders in Cripper and Ed Kono. So that's what this video is dedicated to. We're having a look at the midfield duos and how they perform and having a deeper look at the statistics and seeing how this matchup will play out. So take it away, mate. Yeah, so we've got the Crouch Brothers and I reckon that this is going to be the biggest battle. Can our version of the Crouch Brothers, I've called them the Crash Brothers. The Crash Crips, Brothers. Crips and uh, Ed Kerno in there. Like it. They need to win that battle against the Crouches yep. because they are the best midfield tandem in the comp. Fantastic. And wow. this is, if we look at their numbers that they combine for. So when you, yeah, what do you mean by the best tandem in terms of, you know, the, how much ball they win, how much impact they have? Just all across the board. Okay. So like they're averaging 62 possessions between them a game. Wow, wow. Which is huge. Yeah. Like both of them are on the 30s. I mean, if you take that down as well to effective possessions, so that's possessions that actually hit targets, do something, that's 42, wow. which is around where, if you take the two top midfielders of any other team, yep. where they are, just normal possessions. Yeah, okay. Like, if you just confirm that to Carlton, Carlton, Cripps and Kerner, they're 48 total possessions total a game. possessions a game. Well, Crouches are almost having that, just the actual effective Just ones, effective possessions. Which okay. is scary. That's, uh, that is alarming. That's alarming. They, I mean, we watched Essendon last week. They, they managed to stifle a bit of Matt Crouch in the third when they got back into it. Brad Crouch in the fourth. It's really, for me, Adelaide hinge on them too. It's, they are the link. Laird coming off halfback finds Matt, who then finds Brad, who then finds Target. Yeah. That's how it goes. If you can stop them two having influence you beat Adelaide. They yeah. are dangerous. Uh, but but there is no doom and gloom for Carlton. I mean... Um, it never is, mate. It isn't. No, I mean, like, <laughs> one thing that Carlton do do really well, Cripper and Kerner, yeah. is their pressure acts are higher. They do get their hands dirty. They do do the second and third efforts. And I think that's where Carlton can stifle Matt Crouch. Matt Crouch does have a habit of... He doesn't like being roughed up. Yep. He kind of likes that easier contest and it's his brother who's the tough boy. So I think if Ed can do a job on Matt, and then just let Cripper go head to head with Brad. I think Carlton can win that battle. Quite yeah, I think we'd be back in Crips to play against really anyone in the competition head to head. And that's the thing. I mean, I know that we're all excited and predictions, and I think we're going to run away with this game. But you've got to respect these boys. I mean, at the end of the day, they've played in a grand final. I think Brad missed with a hamstring, yeah. but Matt, off from memory, had 37 touches in a grand final. These guys are elite players. They're in the top eight for a reason. Yes, they're struggling in the last few weeks, but make no mistake about it, if we don't give Adelaide the respect they deserve, these two boys especially will get off the leash and really punish us. And when you add Sloan to the mix there, it's a very dangerous midfield and it's something that we definitely have to be mindful of. So interesting to see that, really appreciate that kind of research. Um, what do you think? What is the key to stopping these two? Is it? Do you find one of them is more damaging than the other? Um, do you maybe even think we should just worry about Rory Sloan and let these two off the leash? Let us know. It's a very interesting topic, and it's probably going to be one of the, the, the key talking points to whoever wins the game tomorrow. Let us know in the comments below.